Okay, hi, good morning. I decided to make a quick video on how I make my wig paints on stuff like ears and tails and antenna and hair and similar that uh, just kind of do wiggle wiggle. <laughs> so yeah, let's get right into it. So this is Blender <laughs> and I have this Tiki model here with uh, it's gonna be uh, turned into another character with a different type of ears. And I need to wig paint now these floppy little, little ears. I have already made a, uh, a skeleton. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing stuff and thinking at the same time. So I've already made, made a skeleton for the floppy ears. And now I need to wig paint these ears. So how I do it. I First of all, I need to see these bones and their names. You can put it on. While you have the armature selected, in the armature setting you can get set the names to be visible and in front, the whole armature to be in front, because you need to see it. And for the ears, go see vertex groups or here, uh, object data properties panel, where you can, you can see the vertex groups and shape keys. Okay, so how we do this? We need to parent first the part to the armature. And we do that by first selecting the point that we cannot parent and then shift selecting the armature and going control P or um, parent set parent. You can also do it from here with empty groups. This is just going to create all the vertex groups for all the bones within that uh, mesh with empty groups like that and now we can see when we go back to the ear settings that now the vertex groups are full of stuff it makes a for each deformation bone actually i think it makes for every bone scrap that it makes a vertex group for every bone and these are how much the bone has effect over the mesh while we do fade painting so now we go to edit mode with the ear while we see the, the bones through and we set manually which vertices belong to which bone. First of all, we have regular floppy 4 L. We're gonna set that to this one. Regular for, for floppy 4 L and assign. Now it's been assigned and you can see what has been assigned by going to that uh, vertex group and see, clicking select. It becomes selected, the part. Okay, now we hide that with the H and with an L we can link select everything that is touching. It works while you have a hidden the floppy or the rest of it. So now we assign the rest of this one. And now if we go select, it's going to select the all the vertices there. Yay! And we do the same thing to the opposite side, to the same amount of vertices. Uh, where do we start? We start from there. And in this side, it's floppy 5R. There, assigned H and L, assign H. And I, I, I usually hide the parts that I've already put in, because <laughs> that's just how I like to do it. Then I take the second part, we have regular floppy 2, L, assign, H to hide, L to select, assign, H. And the same thing here, I think it was 3. Am I in the right one? Yes, I am. Let's go. And in this side, it is called regular 3, R, 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 R. <laughs> Let's go assign H. And here I am going to do three, I think. Yeah. So half the bone only. Because I want the ears not to move that much from the head. I want them to stay upright pretty much. So not much movement. So ear L. No, that's the wrong one. Regular floppy L is the one. Assign H. I'll assign H. And then to the other side, we go up. Is this the right? Yes, yes. And here it is, regular 
floppy one R. Assign H out. Assign H. And both of the... Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Both of these, I'm gonna choose L select with an L and assign to the head. So the head bo bone. Assign. Now, with an Alt H, I get the whole ear visible, and every inch of that should be now normalized, which means, like, not multiple vertices are belong to the same bone. And we go back to object mode, so we can select both the armature and the mesh while we go to uh, weight paint mode. And this is because if you don't select the armature, if you just go with the uh, ears and you go to the weight paint mode, you can't select the bones at all. You can't do anything with the bones because they are not with you. You need to get them along. So you first select the bones and then the mesh and then go to weight paint. Now I can with control, I control clicked. I can select these bones. They turn blue when it's selected and I have more visual presentation of what's going on. It is handy. It is it is better to do it this way. Also, with this, I can actually move the bones. If I select the bone and press rotate, I can edit the bone. So here, I give them some wild <laughs> poses. The bones. This is this is scientific. Very scientific. Uh, so I can see how they deform. Let's make this. Oh. Like so. Now you can see they are all kind of jacked. Because the weight paint is are harsh. It's very harsh. Let's also put that in point inwards. So we can see what that looks like. Okay, with that done, all the bones are like posed in, in some like some extreme way. We're gonna select all the bones that are part of the uh because we're gonna we're gonna smooth them now this is my magic trick i select the headphone uh, head last because that way i can see a little bit better and you can you can select here if you want to hide the armature while you while you're doing this you go smooth smooth and ta da it's been smoothed and here you can uh you can actually see how much of the smoothing is going on, how many in increments of vertices it's gonna affect, and where exactly is the smoothing happening. And remember to say change this to selected post bones. I think this is like active group automatically, which uh, is just gonna edit the active vertex group, which in this case would be the head, because we selected that last. And also same happens if you have just active group. Uh, I mean, selected. All groups will edit all of these. We don't want that for sure. So only the selected post bones, which means all the blue ones. And then we go drag them and get a smooth, smooth enough. And we need to be bit jacked so it's not like too. So they're gonna be a little bit angles. I don't like that part, so. Also, if there's like, like one part that you don't like, you can like just select a couple of bones. I think that's pretty good. This would be the extreme pose with the ears. Okay, then we go to object mode. We select the armature, pose mode, select R, pose, clear pose. Mm. This is how I've white painted like pretty much everything in this model. And yeah, I'll show you the results in VR VC phase once this character is ready. So making this video is going to take a while. But yeah, movie magic. And here we go. This is the end result. They are floppy. They are, they are wild, but they no longer go that, that wild when you, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
thank you for watching and for for more similar easy easy quick step thingies uh leave questions or or just follow yeah <laughs> bye